Wow, so we went from a couple of Twitter posts from Blizzard hinting at a new hero and who it might be, to actually announcing who it is and what she can do. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. So it's time for us to meet Orissa. Jeff Kaplan describes her as an anchor tank. Like Reinhardt, she will be pretty beefy and tough to take out at the cost of mobility which I feel is exactly what the game needed. So what exactly can she do? Let's go over it. Her primary weapon is called the Fusion Driver. It is a projectile based machine gun that has huge range. In fact, Jeff said that only Zarya's grenade alternate fire may have longer range. So she will be the only tank in the game with the longest range on her weapon, not counting Reinhardt's fire strike and Zarya's grenade, of course, because they aren't sustainable. Her alternate fire is pretty crazy. The first push of the button sends out a pulse, which applies a debuff. When you hit the button again, then anyone who is affected by the pulse actually gets pulled in as if you were just hit by a Gravitron, but only lasts for a second. My first question is, will this work on the new Bastion? Probably not, but let's hope. Despite that, this ability will be very cool nonetheless, to pull down Widowmakers or soldiers from the top floor easily without having to commit teammates to try to chase them. Though I doubt this will go through Reinhardt's shields, but we'll see. If it does, then there really isn't much point in anyone taking high ground again. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! My name is Orisa. I will keep you safe. Don't try it! Another ability she has is called Fortify, which allows her to be completely resistant to crowd control abilities. They used Farah's Concussion Blast as an example, so this tank won't get knocked off the bridge in Lijiang Tower. Now, what's an anchor tank without a barrier, right? Well, hers is described as half the size of Winston's barrier, and the shape is about half of that too. And she can place it anywhere she wants, far away or right next to her. I'm thinking like on Numbani first point where some teammates are taking position on the opposite high ground like Soldier and she can throw this thing to aid him in case Genji goes after him or something. Now for her ultimate. It's called Supercharge. She takes the drum that's on her back and places it down and any teammates within line of sight of this thing gets a damage buff and be all like <laughs> Now Jeff mentioned that this thing can be destroyed, which leads me to believe that it has no time limit and will stay up until it's destroyed. Wow, just incredible. My only question is how much health does this thing have and do you still have damage buff for 3 seconds if you break line of sight temporarily? So that's the video today guys, hope you enjoyed. What do you think of the new hero Orisa as a new tank and her design, her abilities, whatever? Any ideas you have as to how she's going to be used in interesting ways? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share it, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.